Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back. Welcome to another live stream and we're coming to you here live from Lowe's. And I wanted to uh, take some time out here and uh, take a look at some of the post Black Friday sales. Their new ad came out. And we're going to take a look at it and see if, if uh, are some of these prices legitimate. Are they real? Or are they, are some of them basically the same prices that we had before? And we want to also take a look at some of the items that were much lower on Black Friday and see if any of them have come back up in price, all right? So we're gonna turn the camera around here. Jeff, my man, what's up, Jed? All right, so I'm gonna start over here. We're gonna be looking at some big, the bigger priced, heavier tools here today. And so I'm actually gonna start at the one that caught my eye because it was in the ad. That's this one here. This is the DeWalt. What's up, David? Hello, 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 and hello, Mike. Doing well, Mr. Mike Wilson. So this one right here, this is the, uh, it's a compound miter saw here. Um, the only problem with this one here, it's it's only a single bevel, but it is a pretty decent price if you're just looking for, to getting into the DeWalt brand without spending a lot of money. What's up, Howard? Howdy, welcome. So this one was in the local ad today. I can't remember if this was already priced this low last week or not. I don't remember seeing it in the, in the Black Friday flyer, but anyway, here it is now, and I just wanted to let you guys know about that one. And then sitting next to it here, we have here, this is the Craftsman 10 inch. This is a sliding compound miter saw. This one is only a single bevel too. So this one probably wouldn't be suitable for doing, you know, crowns and stuff. You could probably do it. I mean, this is the, this is actually the saw I had for years and I still have it. And once I finished my tool review of the uh, Flexvolt version of this that I bought, the, the $799 saw, um, I'll go ahead and list mine on Craigslist. But so both of these are, are only single bevel, so that will make it hard for you to be doing crown molding on a, on a, in a decent manner, for sure. So anyway, this one here, saludos from España, Madrid. Are you really in Madrid? Wow, that's pretty far. Okay, so we have 189 on this one. So this one was 219 for this craftsman here. And then sitting next to it here, we have a, a Matabo here. Everything has gone up, especially Home Depot for now. Yep. And the funny thing is, too, about that, Daniel, is they're trying to make it look like it's on sale. They're putting stuff in the flyer that was either already low priced a month ago or it, it has come off of the sale and they're trying to make it look like it's on sale right so this Matambo here this is a 10 inch here it's a double bevel sliding miter saw 279 so that's a pretty decent lower price there I tell you lately Matambo has really been bringing it here with the pricing so you can see there so you're looking for a cold metal cutting saw like the DeWalt DW22 yeah that much I don't know too much about the cold metal cutting um, man, you know what I have at home? I have this, this, we call it the Billy Mays saw, but it, they, they, when Billy Mays was still alive, they advertised this saw that had the dual, let me see, let me pronounce it right, dual counter rotating blades. I think that's how they operated, but it's two blades. And I use that to cut through like metal fence poles and it does a pretty good job. We, we nicknamed it Billy Mays because his picture was over it. He was advertising it heavily on cable when it came out. That's when I bought it. It was about $159. So here's the cobalt one here. Now, this is interesting because it says $259 here, but yet over here it says $199. So this is the 10-inch compact sliding dual bevel miter saw. So that's a pretty good price, too, to get that for $199, even though it's only 10-inch. Um, these days, especially where I'm doing a lot of um, in my properties, I'm starting to put in bigger planks of of laminate flooring that are like six and seven inches. And once you start getting up into that, like the six inch range, it makes it harder for a 10 inch saw to cut all the way through those. So keep that in mind. Now, when you have a slider, you're fine. So you, you pretty much you got to make sure you got a slider if you're going to be doing that. Now here, this is interesting. Here, this is the um, is this the Craftsman one? Yeah, so this is Craftsman's 10-inch saw here, and this is a folding compound miter saw with a laser. Now, it is only a single bevel, as you can see right there, 
But look at that price though, man. 119. The only the only saw we saw cheaper than this, which I'll show you in a few minutes around the corner here, is the uh was it the Hitachi? Because I think they still had some Hitachis left over here for 69 bucks. Yeah, so anyway, this one here was 169 before this craftsman saw here. And here's a Matabo HPT version that's down to $89. What's up, Tommy? You wanted that DeWalt dual miter saw combo with the stand, but needs to hold off on it. Yep. Well, hopefully it comes back. I wasn't sure. If... I'm going to check when I go back over there. I couldn't, couldn't remember if I saw any still out there on the floor. So this Matabo here is 89 bucks. These guys are really trying to bring it. Now, this is a basic no-frills saw, but if you're just looking for, like, a chop saw, this is it. It's, it's a single bevel. Doesn't do anything fancy. It's 10-inch. Just If you're just going to be cutting a whole bunch of 2x4s to make a fence or something or stud walls, that's fine right there. Is the Walnut Lumber on sale? I haven't gone by there, but I might take a pass over there. Uh, what do we have? So this one here is the Cobalt 7 and a quarter one. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, do I have some not-so-fond memories of this one. So my friend had this 7 and a quarter inch a couple of years ago, and I ended up with some stitches here, like three on this finger and five on, on the other, I think. So I had lent my DeWalt to somebody, and he brought his over, and we were in a hot, hot place with no air conditioning because we were trying to build up the wall for them to put the air conditioner on and i cut my finger on the blade because i didn't realize it was still spinning when i turned it off 12 seconds we found out later 12 seconds is how long it took this blade to come to a stop i'm like my dewalt miter saw does it in was it two and a half three seconds so because i didn't have intimate knowledge of this which is my biggest mistake didn't have intimate knowledge of how long it took the blade to come to a stop i wasn't paying attention and just <clears throat> Brushed my fingers into it while it was still spinning. It was not a pleasant day. Very expensive mistake. 3500 bucks at the emergency room. Okay, so here we have the Bosch 10-inch portable table saw with the stand. So this comes on the rolling stand. This is very much like my rigid one that I own, which I love. And I'm sure this probably acts the same way where it just folds up real quick and real easy and just wheels away and and uh, it's just a pleasure to w move that thing around so this guy here is like 150 bucks off and then next to it of course is the dewalt now this one uh, it looks like it they have it with a stand here but i don't know if it comes with the stand or not so sometimes you got to be careful with these and I'm, i don't see anything here does it have the yeah it includes the rolling stand for this price so this is $4.99, was $5.99, and so there's everything you got here that it comes with, rack and pinion on that there. The Bosch table saws are the best, love the gravity rise stands, yep. And that's the same way that the rigid one acts too, which is very easy to lift it up and over, very little effort, very little effort. It's, a, it's much easier as a two-man lift getting it up into the vehicle, but I've done it by myself just by kind of propping the wheels up on the on the tailgate of the SUV and then kind of lifting it up and pushing it's a little bit harder but with two people doing it it's a cinch uh, so here we have the Matabo this one is a 10 in 1 job site saw here and this one also has the the rolling stand it's a fold and rolling stand and so this one here is 349 it was 519 Remember I tell you, Matabo seems to really be trying to bring it lately with some of their price action here. Yeah, you want that Matabo saw and don't know why. <laughs> That's a pretty decent price, it really is. And then here's Cobalt's answer. They're like, oh, well, well, well you guys think you can go low price? Well, so can we. So this one here is a 10-inch one here. And this one is $249 also, marked down from $329 there. So that one's decently priced. Now here's the regular version of the of the DeWalt's 10-inch table saw. So this one is just I don't I'm, let's see I don't know if it comes with does it come with that stand the rip fence the bup, bup, no it doesn't say that it comes with a stand. So that I don't know because I'm looking at the table here. Usually the table tells you the little chart here will tell you, but it does not say that it includes the stand. Okay. Hey, this is a hundred bucks off from 399 
So it seems like all the table saws and all the chop saws are being marked down pretty good here. Uh, here's Craftsman's answer to it here. So there's, there's this an, isn't quite as much of a drop in price. It's 169 from 199. The 745 is weaker and shorter rip capacity than the 7480. So many tools, so little money. I feel your pain. So I don't know if you guys saw my uh, Black Friday tool haul video from last week. I filmed it Friday night, and if you haven't seen it, you got to go check it out. It was actually pretty cool here. So here at the bigger end of the Walt section here is their 12-inch sliding miter saw, and this is a dual bevel as well. So the one I bought uh, two months ago, you, if you guys saw my live stream there, I bought the Flexvolt version of this. So um, that was $7.99, but I brought in a Home Depot 15% off coupon, and I got it for like 120 bucks off. And then they lowered the price by 100 bucks. So I'm going to bring my receipt in and see if I can't get the manager to do anything, even though I already got 15% off of that price. But maybe they'll take the 15% off $6.99, you know. So the only thing is, is this guy is $5.99 right now, and it, but you do get the stand. So they're, they're throwing in the... Now, which stand is it, though? The adjustable miter stand? It might be this one. Yeah. But this stand is normally $199, and I think this is a floor model here that they reduced on a $99. Bucks. So here, if you don't mind a little scuff action there on your, your stand there, you can get that for a pretty decent price right there. And then next to it here, they have Matabo's answer to the the... 12 inch this is the sliding miter saw also this also is 349 this one was 519 and this is dual bevel and i'll shoot you with my laser and that's pretty much it for the stuff that was on sale over there so i want to walk around the corner here and you know what <clears throat> i should have bought these on um when I was in here the other day, because see, these are back up to forty-nine ninety-eight. These were thirty-nine bucks. Thirty-nine bucks here. These are the twelve-inch blades here. And this kit, you know, they didn't sell a whole lot of them apparently at that price. But you know, you get an eighty-tooth and a thirty-tooth blade. Those are two of the, the common blades there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that so that jumped back up in price. Um, this guy here is still $3.99, but this is the sliding, oh, yeah, yeah, so this one is the, you know, it might still be on, on sale, I don't know, because they're showing, they got the sign on here that says $3.99, okay, and they are giving you the stand, so I don't think that one did come off of the, the sale here, okay, so... Other things that they're trying to make it look like are on sale are really not. Where's that one that was $3.99? I think this might be the kit here that's $3.99, but it was already $3.99 before. I don't know. There was one here that was that was already $3.99 for like the past month since they first got them in. And let me see if any of these DeWalt kits, if they came back up. So they had a lot of the little bit kits here that were uh, like $4.99, you know? Well, I don't see any more of those here. <clears throat> so I'm glad I snagged one when I when I saw it. Let me come around this side and see. Yeah, nothing nothing changed here. See now you see this battery kit here? So this is in the ad today, but this was already 79, so it's not like it dropped in price since last week or anything. So just make sure you guys don't don't fall for that. Okay, don't let your brains trick you or anything. See, I think that's the kit that was $4.99 on Black Friday. All right. So now, we're going to see if we've got anything here. This is quite a bit of money to pay for this job site radio here. $1.99. That thing's tiny, man. <clears throat> kind of caught my eye because of that high price. All right, I want to come down and take a look at these. There's some uh, compressors here and... The nailers. Now there was something a little confusing about the this nailer here because see, so this is the Metabo 21 degree here. 
three and a quarter inch nail. So it says 179 there, marked down from 199. But they got this other thing over here, but I think this is an old model that must have sold out because that model number on that tag doesn't correspond to anything up here. Okay. So now here they have a 15 degree coil sliding nailer here. This one is marked down 20 bucks and 349. And then here they got the Matabo HPT. This is also the 15 degree one and three quarter inch coil roofing pneumatic. So this guy right here is marked down 50 bucks. Him right there. Okay. And I know coming around the corner on this aisle right here from Bostitch, there was something buy one get. So they got this thing here that says buy one get one. So if you pick one of these Bostitch cordless nailers here, they'll give you a free uh, battery here, 4.0 amp hour. Now the funny thing is, is I only see one battery operated unit in here from Bostitch, and that's this one right here, the 18 gauge nailer here. So if you buy that guy at its full price, which I don't even see the box for him down here, give you the battery for free. So this is the battery here. And this sticker right here shows that it's, it's a $79 value there. So they have the Milwaukee M18 circular. Well, we're here in, in Lowe, so they don't carry Milwaukee here, <clears throat> unfortunately. So you could try typing it in on Home Depot's website or on International Tools. Um, let's see. Oh, so here's a pass load. It's a cordless XP framing nailer. This is a 30 degree nailer right here. So this one's a hundred bucks off. You know, you don't hear too much from pass load lately, but you know, back about 10, 12 years ago, I used to see them in use all the time on all the DIY shows on, on, uh, you know, DIY, DIY network and HGTV. All of the contractors on there were using those. Even even um, the guys on Homes on Homes used to use those. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, everybody has this right now, these pancakes going for 99 bucks. So this is nothing special there. And, of course, Craftsman here is running this one here with the three-tool set here for 199 and I've seen it as low as 169 I'm pretty sure not from here it used to be the low that you're seeing this at right now here okay and it's interesting here is this is one case where Matabo isn't quite um, um, keeping up with the Joneses here so to speak because here they're, they're even though that's a reasonably decent price 199 <clears throat> they're just giving you a, a pancake and, and one tool Whereas for the same 199, Craftsman right here is giving you three tools. Three tools. That that's the 179 deal deal. Because I think that one only has one tool. But the three tool one is right there for 199. <clears throat> so here's the <clears throat> it's right next to it in the box. There's your craftsman setup right there with the three tools. Okay, and you saw a comment. Does it have a cordless seven and a quarter? Seven and a quarter what? You're talking about circular saw or you're talking something else? So let us know. You have the Matabo compressor. It's nice. Yeah. You have this bigger one here or the pancake one. So the one I have from uh, Porter Cable that looks like the Craftsman one, I don't really like that one. It's been giving me problems since pretty much since I, I first got it. Um, all right. So we have some bigger ones here. So this one from Cobalt is marked down from 209 to 188. And that's this one right up here. Now here they're calling it 189 up there on this sticker, but it's 188 on the sign. But that's the unit they're talking about there. So that's the 4.3 gallon. And I don't really know if they really are quiet like they say. Yeah, so circular saw. So we'll see what they got here for a cordless one. I, I, I saw one on a on one of the stands around the corner there. We'll take a look in a second. Uh, cobalt, two gallon. So this one's 139 down from 159. Okay, and then they got this beast here. This big old beast here is 26 gallons right here, cobalt. So this one is on sale right now for 278 from 309. All right, and let me see if we have any other compressors on this side. The big boys, 
These are not on sale. These are five eighty nine. Um, no, these these guys are not on sale here. So that brings up a good question about the uh, Dewalt. So we'll go check it out. I just wanted to point this out to you here. So their fan is seventy nine bucks. And uh, Toolboss did a great review on this several months ago, comparing this one to the Rigid, to the Milwaukee, to the Ryobi. And I was surprised how low the Milwaukee scored on his test there. But this one's not a bad price to get it at that price. Okay, so let's see. They had a circular over here. Was it here? Here it is. So this is a seven and a quarter inch. Has an electric brake. But is this electric or cordless? This is, uh, no, see this one is not. I don't think this one's cordless. That one's 99 bucks. Yeah, at 15 amps. Let me see if they got another cordless one around here. This one might, yeah. All right, I set it off, yeah, baby. 159. So that one's 159. You got a squeaking turtle over here. <laughs> yeah. Well, something did. Let me tell you something. You haven't lived till you set off the green turtles at, at Lowe's. All right. So, okay. What else do we have? So from Bosch here, they have their 18 volt circ saw here, 119. But that's the bare tool only, though. Yeah. And now you got the 22 combo kit down below there for 249. They had a really good deal on the Freak here. I don't, I don't know if any of you guys had took advantage of that, but I think they had one of the, the Freaks down here for uh, 79 maybe on Black Friday when I walked in here. Let me see if it's still here on that price. So we're going to go over and check out some of the uh, lawn and garden uh, stuff here. Yeah, so this is back to 99 I think on Black Friday they had this guy here, the Freak. It was down to 79. And I don't remember if it was only just that day or if it was for the whole Black Friday sale there. All right, so, man, it's dark outside already. It was light when I got in here. You see, I always come in and spend about a half hour walking the store to see what we're going to talk about and everything. So I'm, I usually end up being in here about an hour and a half to two hours when I come in here. All right, so here's the kit. I wanted to tell you about this one because, you know, you saw me buy this on Black Friday, right, for 99 Well, yesterday and today and part of tomorrow morning, I'll be filming, um, completing the filming, comparing this kit to the 173-piece DeWalt socket set that you saw me buy over at, at uh, Costco a couple of weeks ago for the Black Friday sale there. So it was really great comparing both of these two kits together. And it's going to be a longer than normal video because of all of the testing I'm doing and I'm, I'm taking all the drawers out and I'm taking all the parts out and showing you everything and finding all the flaws. I did drop testing on both this one and the DeWalt. Dropped them off a five foot wall <clears throat> to see how well they, they handle their, spill out their guts or what. <clears throat> so, appearing in today's ad were these two guys here. But these two guys have been this price for like two months. The, no, I've only seen that workbench at Home Depot, and it's 69 bucks right now. And um, you'll see it in some of my last couple of tool reviews. In fact, it'll be in the tool review I was just talking about that we're going to upload tomorrow. So we're, we're shooting for tomorrow night premiere at 8.30 p.m. That's my goal on that one. But you'll see that workbench in, in action. And I'm actually, I've actually started filming a tool review on that DeWalt workbench that I hope to upload in the next week or so. So the gunmetal is still 119. This is one I would have bought had they dropped it to like, you know, 79 or something. But not at, not at that price. 
So some of these other things have not really come down. So these are still $9.99 here. This is still the steal of the century right here to get four tape measures for, for 10 bucks, basically, you know. So, um, so we got the Craftsman seven and a quarter inch blades, seven ninety eight. I did see somebody had one down to like three or four bucks the other day when I was in here, but I think it was Black Friday only. And these are the, these are the ones that were deal the doorbuster on Black Friday. These were forty nine bucks, so they're back up to sixty nine already. Right, so you can see they've already brought the prices back up on things. This works table right here, the Pegasus, is still 99 98 So that didn't come down in price. There you got two blades here from DeWalt. 24 and 40 See, I like it when they mix it and they give you two different ones. So that way you have a little bit of a, a selection there. All right, so uh, there was nothing else here. They sold out of the Rockwells. There were some Rockwell tools that were here that were down to like 49 bucks. So either they either sold out of them. I think it might have been. I don't remember. I don't remember if it was this one or th I think that one. One of them was down to 49 bucks, but it came back off the the deal already. This was definitely one of them, the four and a half inch saw. So if you didn't pick that up on Black Friday, man, you left money on the table, folks. This is a good one. So this is one I've been telling you guys about for weeks. Every time I came in, I showed you this. So they had it for $24.98 before, but it is now down to my target price range of $19.98. So go get them, because I love this kit. I bought this a few years ago, and it's got every size imaginable of screwdriver and type and precision types that you can imagine, including all these bits here, because it's got one of these is the driver right in the middle here for it. And then I like these two here. These are your offset screwdrivers. These come in real handy when you're trying to put knobs on, on some of your cabinet drawers and you can't quite get in there at it to, um, to get to get those, the screws in. So that's what we use those a lot for. Okay, so now I'm going to head over to... Uh, th there were some deals on the outdoor tools. So we're going to head right over there. Right on over. So they're running this deal right now on a pressure washer. It's a buy one, get one. And I believe they had it on, on Black Friday, but it's actually in their ad today. So it's if you buy any of these Craftsman pressure washers here, then you get a free surface cleaner from Briggs & Stratton. That's If you look up that model number there, type that model number in on Lowe's website, it comes up as a Briggs & Stratton, right? The only thing is, is I've been looking all over the aisle here and I can't seem to find the, the surface cleaner that, that's supposed to be part of this deal here, the surface cleaner here. And what's interesting is I think this is being subsidized by Briggs and Stratton. So this particular model right here has the Briggs and Stratton engine, which you guys know I hate Briggs and Stratton. I call them Briggs and Struggling. I'll never buy another tool that has their engine on it. Instead, I'd rather get this one because it has the Honda. But ironically, this one is still allowed in that deal so i don't know what what the deal is is how if briggs and stratton is really subsidizing that or not but i can't find anywhere here that surface cleaner so i believe it's a 15 inch surface cleaner not sure uh, but you know that's a, a good deal to get one of these i would if anything i would recommend getting this unit here but we've seen these units cheaper though we've seen these on sale before the hondas here i would get the honda and, and um, anything that has anything over 3,000 PSI is is good. And anything over like, yeah. See how you got the max GPM right there, 2.4? Anything over 2.1 is good too. So the, the two, these are really the two important factors here is the, the gallons per minute and the PSI on it. So now Greenworks has this little 11 inch surface cleaner here. So this is good if you're just doing like, um, if you just have a small, house or driveway and sidewalk and that's all you're going to do with it and this might even be useful to pressure clean walls with too because it looks like you can almost hold it against the wall and just brush it around the bigger ones are not as practical for doing that so i don't i don't know where in the world they're those those surface cleaners are that they say because i mean we looked everywhere all the way up up and down the aisle top and bottom nowhere to be found 
They have some more bargain priced ones here, but you know, I would rather do without than to, than to get something that, that I know is not going to work. 1800 PSI doesn't cut it. 2000 doesn't cut it. 2300 doesn't cut it. It may cut it if you're if you're using it at your house and you've and you've already got a reasonably clean sidewalk. But if you have a black sidewalk and you don't ever want to clean a sidewalk with a wand, um, you're you're just gonna you're wasting your time with with any of these three, I think. So these are more, in my opinion, for power washing, not pressure washing. So there's a difference. Remember, power washing just means this thing's shooting out a lot of washer, a lot of water at a at a reasonably high pressure. But it's not true pressure washing like these big old 3200 PSIs are. That's what you want. If you want to clean a school parking lot, the church sidewalk, that's what you got to use. Okay, so, so even this one here, you know, 299, and it's a gas-powered one, but it's only 2800. I just wouldn't even waste my time with that. All right, so there was a big deal over here in one of these generators, a couple of them actually. So here you have a Craftsman 3500 watt generator here. So this is marked down a 399 from 449. Okay. Let me just stop for a second and see any comments. Oh, which lows am I at? I'm at the one in Coral Springs. Coral Springs, Florida. Okay. So they have this other one here. So Generac is probably one of the better known brand names here for making these big, big old generators. But they even make these smaller ones too. But their deal here is their buy one is if you buy the generator, you get a 10 year extended warranty for a thousand bucks value. So I don't know which one I'd rather get, maybe a rebate instead, or I don't know. I, I tend to not buy the extended warranties on, on certain things here. Uh, but there you have it. That's what they're doing there. All right, so we're gonna go over two aisles to, there was some deals I think on the blowers. And by the way, guys, Am I the only one that noticed that they don't have battery-operated blower vacs? How come none of these things vacuum up the leaves, too? I don't know why the manufacturers aren't giving us that, you know? Kind of stinks. I've been waiting for that. I'm waiting to give somebody my money, but they don't want to take my money. All right, so first off, we have here, the Cobalt 80 volt here is 199 Marked down from 259 can you show by chance the Craftsman electric screwdriver in the Irwin clamps? Yeah. Oh, and that reminds me. I got to go back and show you those other, um, those Irwin vice grips that I showed you guys last week. The ones that don't have the teeth, they're smooth edge. Those are really nice. I paid $19.99 for mine. I think that's in, this, in the ad today for like $16 and change. So that's an even better price. All right. So that 80 volt was the one here that we just showed you. Now we have Greenworks. And this one's on clearance. So these are 139 down from 199 that's these this guy here and they don't i believe is that this one no it might be hold on no it's not not the same price keep in mind a lot of times they don't get their yeah it is it is yeah see a lot of times they don't get their stickers and things written they put stuff in the wrong spot all the time so that 139 dollar one here is this greenworks pro here how odd. I see you are broadcasting and, and what? And uh, we got this Craftsman one here. So this one's 20 bucks off right now here. So I believe that's th this one. So so they got a temporary sticker on it. You have the 40 volt cobalt mower trimmer and blower. You love them. How long does that, how long does that mower last on the battery? Uh, here's the Craftsman one that I just showed you down on that sign right there that says 149. Oh, you were just at Lowe's? Oh, all right, Johnny. So this one here is the, it says 159 here, but I think that temporary sticker there, I think that sticker will overrule the 159 on that one. And do we know the CFMs on this? Let's see. Sometimes, sometimes they'll say it on the box, sometimes they won't. Nope. It is a brushless one, though. Okay, and... Is this the Black & Decker blower? Yeah, the blower vac for 67 bucks. 
but it's corded, you know. Um, yeah, so anyway, I don't know why none of these guys are giving us vacuum capability. Because I still have to go and plug in my corded vac. All right, so on the trimmer side here, nothing is discounted, I don't think. I'm looking here, I don't see any yellow stickers on that, except for this Black & Decker one here. So this is marked down to 62.98 here. That's this guy right here. Okay. So I'm going to come around and let's see. I don't think any of the... Let's see. Do we have that 40 volt? I see the 80 volt lawnmower from Cobalt. So that one runs 60 minutes. Here's the 40 volt one here. Is that the one you got that you mentioned you like? So this runs 30 minutes. And that's brushless also. And here's another one that runs 40 minutes. That's on how many volts? Same 40 volts. So there's your, your two cobalts there. Uh, let's see. So this one's 299. The other one's 199. APAC! What's up? Stopping in to say hi. It's been a busy week. Been busy, busy filming uh, all of our tool reviews that we're trying to get done here. So just, you know, remember guys, just look for tomorrow night at 8.30 at a premiere of our com comparison with that that Sears. I'm not, I keep calling that Sears still. I just can't let it go. Craftsman 216 piece, that three drawer set. I'm comparing that to my DeWalt one with the drop testing and everything. This right here is a Werner platform here, 24 bucks, kind of like the same. There was a similar one over at, at Home Depot around the same price range during Black Friday, but these guys have it here now. With a 5.0 battery, you can mow and trim. Okay. I know, I've been doing just so many videos there. Is the free miter saw still available? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll walk back over there and check and see if they still got that free miter saw deal. I don't know how much this Warner ladder is, but I gotta tell you, I like the look of it because it's got that military kind of look to it here, you know? I love this, this look on this thing here. So, there was a lot of things here that didn't sell out that, that I expected to on, on Black Friday or didn't even sell as good as I expected them to. So, I, I have a feeling you're going to see a lot of these things drop even lower. So, here are some of these toys and stuff that they have. And, um, yeah, like this. They had a skateboard here. They only sold like a half of them. Like a lot of these toys just didn't sell. None of these did all that well there. The six, those are those backlit kind of Lego type things. So we're coming over here to the to the uh, cobalt section. And those of you who are tuning in, like that weren't here a few minutes ago when we saw. So this set here is still $99. So this is the one that I was filming the tool review of today, comparing this with the DeWalt 173 piece set. We had fun doing that one. That was a... Okay. So here's the saws. But are they still in the ad? That's what we don't know. I don't see any of the buy one, get one signs here like they had for it. Right? So I would say no. You can probably... You can probably type it up on the Home Deep, I mean, on the, on the Lowe's website and see. Now, this is this tool cart here. I think it's the last one. They had this left over from Labor Day and marked down to $149. It's actually a decent price because you got 144 pieces of tools in there, too. You know? You get both uh, the smaller ratchet sizes in there. So, uh, yeah, I'm surprised they didn't just sell a lot of those either okay so we have here yeah the 73 piece set is still 59.98 uh, this one here this is 129 piece down to 59.98 was 99 and by the way on saturday morning i think we're going to be doing a live stream from sam's because they're doing another one of their famous one day sales this saturday and i think over there they're going to have a channel lock 
tool set for $69, and I think it's going to be like well over 100 pieces in there. Let me see if there was any other tool on here that was uh, marked down. So they still got these here. Now, this was the first time we saw these in, in our Lowe's a few weeks ago, these fender covers. So I bought one of these on Black Friday. That was pretty good. You picked up three of these guys, you mean? Are you talking about the, the, uh, the Craftsman set? All right, so we're going to head back to the back here. They get some more stuff back here. Okay. And they it looks like the fanfare has died down from all of the appliance sales. So I don't know if they're still doing any of that pricing or not. So you can see they cleared out a lot of the the appliances that were here. The signs are still there, so the the, the prices are still on, the deals are still on. But I mean this whole the, a lot of the front area they've cleared out a lot of stacks of stuff here the along the back here this was all filled with stock on black friday so this they they must have sold at least a good chunk of it now interesting these these serta mattresses here these were a stellar deal on black friday and I, I didn't even really sell a lot of them but you see these pallets they got of these things right here they had like going all the way down the back of the store on Black Friday. So they must have sold at least half of them. But see, right now, they're back up to $6.99. And these were $3.99 on Black Friday. So if you bought it back then, man, you, you got a good score on, on that one for sure. So let's see. What else have we got down here? Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you here. So they got this new Chamberlain uh, garage door opener here. I like this one because it's got the LED lights built into them now, right? And it'll send you an alert to your phone. See, this is the alert I need. I need the one that says, hey, moron, you left your garage door open. They should have, like, Sam Kennison's voice in there that gets up on, on, on your... They send it to your phone. It goes, ah, you loser. You left it open. Okay, so 298 Even though it says on the shelf 338 but I believe it's it's it's... That's like a special value that they're doing right now for this one here. But I, I like this one here. It's got a lifetime motor and belt warranty. So if you guys are dealing with chains right now, ditch the freaking chain, man, and get one of these. I, I bought one of these like, I don't know, 10 years ago. Best investment I ever made. The, the, the garage door closes so much easier, and it's quieter, and you don't have to oil the stupid chain every month or so to keep it from, from failing on you there, you know? Yeah. Dan Brown, hello. So anyway, this one comes with the two remotes. That's their standard. I have that exact same one on my wall and the same keypad. And of course the, the safety sensors there too. So, and let me, let me tell you guys something. I'll tell you this right now. If you ever buy a garage door opener, pay somebody to come put it in. Do not put it in yourself. Oh, it was a nightmare because I ended up doing mine myself and it took nine hours. It really is a two-person job unless you're a guy that does it every single day. And it's just a nightmare trying to, uh, when you have to finally get it lifted up there, that's when you really need to have the two guys going at it. So, that's not a bad deal. I mean, two ninety eight seems a little bit high, but... I think I paid like two forty nine when I got mine way back. But remember, guys, remember what I told you. You get those Lowe's coupons and you bring them in here. If you go to like quick-coupons.com, so it's quick with the, the dash and then coupons.com. And there they have coupons for, for Home Depot and Lowe's and they're downloadable and printable and usable in the store. So you can, you just, what I do is they only have like a seven to 10 day time window. So I print them out right before I come down to the store. That's what I do. That way I'm pretty much guaranteed it's going to be valid. And they have coupon codes for their coupons too. So when you get on their website, if you see a coupon code there in front of the, the coupon, make sure you enter that code to get like 20, 40% off of the coupon. That's what I always do. So let's see, what do we have here? Pretty much nothing here in the clearance. They got uh, six-piece fall protections kit. Oh yeah, so that's that's like your your 
your hanging vest and all that. Now these are kind of cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. These are called extruded foam rafter vents. So I bought a whole bunch of these a, a few years back. And I can only go up in my attic in December because we are in Florida. But what these do, these are really cool. See, the builders down here are stupid, and people always say, Why are you saying they're stupid? Why are you idiots? Blah, 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 blah. You're always cutting down everybody. Blah, blah, blah. The problem is the builders down here don't know what they're doing. When they build your house, and the, the wall on the outside of your house is like this, right? And then the roof comes down at an angle like that, right? Where the two meet is where the soffit vents are. And they always push the insulation up against the soffit vent. So now the attic can't vent properly. That's where these come in. So you put these, there, you're supposed to staple these up the, the sheathing on the, the roof, on the other side of the roof. So that any air that comes in at the other end of it, I'll show you like this. Oops. So the air that enters at the bottom of that vent, and it comes right up the channel from the vent, all the way from the bottom of the eave of your roof there, along your soffit. And the air can travel up here, so it allows the cool air to come up in. And it helps to keep that attic of yours nicely ventilated there. Otherwise, it'll just get really roasty toasty. But yeah, I bought a bunch of these and stapled them. Now, somebody had asked about walnut. I don't know if, if we have any walnut here today. Let's see that here. That's oak. That's poplar. Poopler. I call it poopler. That's ping. Walnut should be a lot louder in green. Let's see. That's regular, regular, regular stuff. Regular, regular. Regular. I like the um, um, the birch. Let's see. Yeah, the cedar. The cedars always smell really good. I love the cedar. I always cook my salmon on cedar planks. Yeah, so I don't see any. We may not have it, the walnut in this store. Got the white wood. It's all the shiplap stuff. They might not have it in this one. We, you know, sometimes around here, like the, all the Home Depots don't always get everything that, that the other Home Depots get either. And you know, every time we come in here, these aisles are always like, you could roll a bowling ball down them and not hit anybody. All right. So I was gonna make my round back to the front to see if they still got those $69 table saws from Hatachi. Because as they're switching over to the Matabo, and I don't know why they did that name change. Dumbest marketing ploy in history, I think. Why would you take an established name like that and then just change it? You know, it's like uh, like 20 years ago, Amway changed their name to Quickstar, which is a strange. And then the spelling was strange, so they had to conf they confused everybody. And then they moved it back to Amway again. All right, so here we are. So here's the Hitachis right here. So these here are the 10 inch compound miter saw here. And these are 69, uh, 67. Yep. So this stack, when I was in here on Black Friday was like two or three times this size. So they did at least sell a few of them. And they still got this Metabo here, the cordless impact driver here, the HPT is still at 69. Yep, kill it. Yep, they sure did. They had some killer deals there. Wish they put insulation on exterior walls down here in Florida. Yep, yep. And, and in fact, what they well, what they make them do now on the uh, the cement block walls down here in Florida now is when you put the furring strips, those wooden furring strips, and you nail them going up the wall there. They now make you come over it with this bubble stuff. And I don't know if they low sells it. We're actually right here by the aisle. I'm gonna see if they have it here. I could show you. So this is the way you, you, you insulate against a cement block wall. I see it up there because I used it when I remodeled one of, a bathroom in one of my condos last year. Reflectix is what it's called. So it comes in this roll here. This is a shorter one. They have a taller roll also. But see, see how thin it is? It's basically, it just looks like foiled bubble wrap. And let me see if they... You can see different applications for it. 
I don't know why they're not showing the case of it against the uh, cement block wall because that's the most commonly used down here anyway. But even then, this only gives you like R6 at best, I think. Because you don't have the air gap. You can't get an air gap in there. Yeah, on the inside, yeah. See, down here in Florida, the, we insulate on the inside. Up north, they typically do it on the outside and the inside. But here, what would be better, I think, is, is instead of furring strips, if they used 2x4s or 2x6s, and I have a big gap between the wall and the drywall, and then you can either shoot in some big expanding foam or use some much higher quality regular um, insulation. But anything would be better than what they do now. Anything would be better than that. Okay, so Porter Cable here has a 20 volt lithium ion there for 59.98 here. And I wonder if this is the same kit that I showed at Costco the other day at the Black Friday sale, but I can't remember how much it was over there. So what else have we got here? What other what other suggestions do we have here from all of you guys that are hanging out right now? I want to see what they got for the... Somebody had asked about 12 volt batteries. These are still 50 bucks here for the XRs. These are cute. And I don't know if they have any kits with them. They do, they have this kit here. This is, uh, now these are all 20 volts, I think. 18 volt, 20 volt max with their little chargers there. This one is 99 bucks. Normally 149. Yeah, use a lot of the Dow foam board up there. Yep. Did you miss the Craftsman tool kits? You just got here. <laughs> I'll kind of walk right by it one more time because I'm on my way out. I'll, I'll kind of hit it up. And by the way, here's Cobalt's answer to the Milwaukee. I don't know if you saw me do my tool review the other night on the Milwaukee vacuum, the cordless vac, the M18 vac. So I took, I did a whole thing on it and I took it apart. Uh, to put it through the ringer, made it do all sorts of tests. The multi-tool blade kit, like from, like which one? Catch it when the stream is over. Okay, so no worries. Just got here, love the videos. Well, thanks, DBA rocker. So let me see if this looks, yeah, this looks very similar to to the way the Milwaukee one works here, where the, the hose is inside and wraps around and stays inside. They, you know what, dang man, this looks exactly, as I look at it, this this looks almost exactly like it because it's got the same gasket around the power switch there. See that? This, the hose here, it's not quite, you know what, it does look very much like it, very much like it. Except the angle of the storage here and where the battery goes is a little bit different. But man, everything else looks, I wonder if they're made by the same company. I really do. Either way, this one's 99, and um, it's the Milwaukee one dropped down to 89 for Black Friday. I don't know if it's still at 89, but it was at 89 the other day when we went in. And when I bought it, it was part of the buy one, get one. So I bought the charger with the two batteries, the two 5.0 amp batteries, and I got that for free. Here's Craftsman's version of, let me see, where's the... The price for the circuit. See, nothing here ever, ever lines up. I was trying to find out how much this circ saw is. And they don't even have any on the shelf down below, so I can't even tell. Oh, yeah, you saw the Milwaukee wet-dry vid? Yeah, that was good. And by the way, I got that rigid vacuum for 39 bucks on Black Friday over at um, Home Depot. They had a, a $39 deal here. It was on a shop vac, but I don't see it here anymore. I think they probably sold out of them. And here's a Versa stack here for uh, $79.99. And by the way, guys, you know, I'm going to walk by that kit again in a minute, in a minute there. The, the Craftsman kit... That kit is a Versa Stack box, so it will stack on these, and you can latch other Versa Stack units on top of that that kit that I'm about to show you. And it's still $99 on on the shelf here, so that sale price is still in effect. Let me see. We're coming up on it now. We're just a few more feet away. 
Yeah, if you, and if you didn't get those door busters on the uh, Craftsman, they had a they had a drill and they had a, an impact driver. They were each forty nine dollars there, you know. Yeah. So here's the. Once again, this is the one that we're gonna release a video on tomorrow night, hopefully at eight thirty premiere. So make sure you're back here and looking at it. We're going to compare this one to the Dewalt one hundred and seventy one piece there. Yeah, I didn't see as many people buying the rigid vac when I was in there buying it. Um, I saw a few, and I was very surprised that at the back of the store they had a huge, massive stash of them, and they were still in there even the next day. By the way, all these points he get is are up to eleven ninety eight. These were twenty five cents each on Black Friday morning. And I uh, just wanted to briefly take a quick spin down here. All of these are the same price that they were for the last month or so. So none of these dropped, even though these are all in today's ad here. Even the gunmetal here, the one is still one nineteen. It's been that price for a couple of months. Okay, so uh, the 105 piece is still 79. The 83 piece here is still 69. The 40 piece here is still 39. So I don't, I don't know. Um, let me see. Where's that hose that they had? They had that that Craftsman hose. Yeah, yeah. See, they got one left. See, and this came off the sale price. Remember, this was $69 on Black Friday. I showed you guys in that live stream there, you know. Oh, yeah, you mean the vacuum adapter, Dan? Is that what you're talking about? I've been complaining about that for years. Yeah. Don't like the new Craftsman sockets, but do like that Craftsman socket set. Yep, that's a slide-out drawer, yeah. And they, they latch on the ends. I can't open it because they're in the package right now to show you. But I show you how it all works in the video that we're going to put up tomorrow night. Uh, these are still the same. These haven't changed here. And I don't remember, I, I've said before, don't get red lasers. Because you just can't see them very far. They don't, they don't, they don't project very good. Here's a reasonable deal for a 10 inch. So you got a, a 24 tooth and a 60 tooth. So the 60 tooth would be more or less if you're doing baseboard. They call it usually like fine finish. I I don't know, I've, I've always tended to use like 80, 80 teeth. One time I got a Diablo 90 tooth. Um, this is not a good price at all because for this type of light right here, I can, I can go over to Home Depot right now and Husky, they have a Husky version of this for, I think it's 14 and something right now. And I was hoping that would come down, but they didn't, so. Um, these guys are all 998 right now. So these were 13 before, but somewhere over here, I thought there was a kit that had all three of them in it. Let me see what that kit's going for. The kit is right here. So that's weird. So the kit is $35.98 to get all three of them in the kit. But yet you could buy all three of them separately here for 30 bucks. And I'm assuming it's the exact same model. That's my basic assumption here. Okay, so the Irwin clamps, these are still $29.98. These never came down. I don't I don't think these came down any lower. Um, no other clamps. I'm surprised that these spiders didn't sell as, as much as you would have expected them to. I mean, they sold a fair amount. But I think all of these were priced lower on Black Friday. So a lot of the Black Friday prices are gone. Um, you get the two sets of the original vice grips here. 1998. And these, I don't remember if these dropped in price, but the titanium ones at Home Depot, which are better, are $9.98. And you might want to check the price over there to see if they still are $9.98. And here's the, the Lennox. This thing, I believe it dropped down to... Oh, was it like 49 bucks? I can't remember. It was a pretty good deal. Although at Home Depot, they had a 17 piece. 
um, the whole dozer, 17 piece from Milwaukee over at Home Depot was 33 and it might still be at that price. I, I think that's the, the price it was at. And they have the Lennox set here, the 12 piece bimetal reciprocating right there. So this is $24.98. And I, I don't remember if they dropped the price on this on Black Friday. But I do know that a lot of prices came back up. And luckily, that Craftsman set did not go back up from $99 back up to $149. Did not go back up. The Lufkins, they took the price off them. I don't know if they're still on sale. I picked mine up for, I think it was $24. That's about as low as you're ever going to see a pair of Lufkins ever. Um, they have a sets like this at Home Depot, but it's a little bit cheaper. I think it's a few bucks cheaper. Very similar type set. I bought my daughter one for her to keep in her car and to have at her college dorm. And I have one in my trunk too, I believe, as a lifeboat. Oh, you know what I want to see? I want to see if they mark down any of the Christmas stuff. So here's, yeah, this was the doorbuster. This was one of the doorbuster deals that they had on Black Friday here. So $49 for all of this right here. And let me see if any of those inflatables. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the Frosty was one. So these were $69 on um, Black Friday, and he might still be. It's just I can't tell because it's it's got a, they got it stocked in the wrong place, and they got a Toy Story one down here. And so they had a Mickey Mouse one, and they ha and that's the Frosty one. So that was their, they call it a deal buster, but I don't know, at 69 bucks, I don't think that's necessarily a deal buster price. So we're going to take a quick look here in the, in the section here, and I hope the stream is still looking pretty good, because sometimes you hit these areas where there's bad coverage in the building here, and uh, these kinds of swirly lights, first of all, let me tell you guys something, that is such a ripoff at 99 bucks. However, I'll give them kudos, because... This is much better than rope light. This is that, it's kind of like a ribbon light. And it does change all these colors, but these things right here, they swing like crazy out in the wind. They have a 6.5 to 7 foot tree at a good price. Let's see. I'm going to walk over to where the trees are and hopefully the signal, oh, let me this back around. I'm gonna walk back to where the trees are right over here. <clears throat> And let's see if they got any signage on them. I didn't check them in the ad, but I did see them that they are, they are in today's ad. So they got the, like, the stickers all over the floor indicating which one's where, but they don't have the price on these. I think the prices are over here. Um, so you would probably want to check, go to the website, and up at the very top you'll see a link that says like local ad. So this one here is a pre-lit 7.5 foot. That's 198 it kind of, you know, it does sort of look look fake. The ones I like are kind of like these guys here. Home Depot had a beautiful one like this that didn't have the larger. It had the smaller little dome LEDs so that looked more sparkly. And they had 1,500 lights on it, and it was like 250 bucks. When I was in there the other day, they were sold out already. So this one is 7.5 feet. So in terms of six and a half to seven, let's see what we got here. That's a seven and a half foot for 139. Here's a seven foot for 198. And then some of these over here will operate off of, uh, these are more expensive. These are like smart trees, but they'll operate off of an app on your phone. See how you can, you can control that there. So this one's 398. So right now, none of these have any kind of like reduced stickers on them. Here's one that's 99 bucks for a six and a half footer, but it, I gotta tell you, it looks cheapy, cheapy. It, it's like it's like looking at the artificial turf type thing. It's just terrible. I don't like it. Unfortunately, if you don't have the money, you know that's that's what you gotta get. Yeah, you'll have great prices after Christmas. I haven't bought a Christmas tree in 20 years. Yep. What I would do. Um, 
if you're going to start looking like for next year, I would go into Costco and Sam's right now and look at their current offerings of what their trees are and what they do. So the better trees nowadays will come in like one, two, three sections. And that's all, that's all it is. You put together three pieces. Don't get those kits like the old days where you have to flip like this one here. See, you got to flip all the branches and everything. I don't know. This might be three pieces. I don't know. I don't know how many pieces. But I always look on the box that they come in and make sure it's telling you how how many um, sections. This is a cute guy right here. $69.98. And I'll come back over to the front section because that might be, there might be more um, trees. I know Home Depot in the middle aisle by the paint had a whole section of of uh, boxes of trees just piled up. I'm starting to see a lot of these retro things here in all of the stores. Even Hobby Lobby has little small things like that that are like this with the camper or the um, this is the station wagon. But the other ones are showing the red pickup with the Christmas tree in it. It seems like everybody's got things like that this year. Even uh, Sam's Club has those there. And so don't forget, guys. Saturday morning I'll be broadcasting live from Sam's Club for their one day sale over there. All right, so right now here it's saying artificial trees 25% off. So here's one, this is a seven foot right here. Pre-lit, just cut Asheville fir, 168. So this was 198, right? And the dual color lights, now is this the one with the smaller? So if this picture is accurate, that's the type I like with the smaller dome. And it, it comes a foot with a foot pedal, easy light technology. This one's not saying how many sections it comes in though. Probably not too bad. So you can check on the website. Um, here's the part number right here for it. Here's the item number. All right, so this this actually went on sale today until the 11th. So you get about a week to next Wednesday. So this here is item number 1045644. So that's a seven footer. And this one here, there's no price on it, so we don't know. It says hold for the Black Friday event, so I don't know. That's what you have now, the eight piece kit. You have to fluff everything, you have pain, and it sheds. It sheds? Is that like super cheap that it sheds? <laughs> So here's the here's the other one, the pre-lit spruce. They don't have it lit up though, but this is a spruce for 148. So this guy's a seven and a half footer. Doesn't look too bad. That one's 148, and there's a taller one here. I don't think they have the price on it though. Nope. Yes, yeah, they do. 298. So this one is on special. Because this one here, look at this. That's $100 off. This is a nine foot. And that guy towers up there, man. Yeah, the needles are falling apart. Yeah. So you're starting to see, um, if you haven't bought a tree in years, what you're starting to see is, and I'll show you like on this tree up here, there's an example of that tree right up there. See how it's changing colors up there? I'll take you over there and show you. So some of the newer art we had to, we got disconnected for a second there. So because see, you can go multi or you can go white and it goes back, you know, multi. But those are your only two choices. So I can't like make the whole tree red. I can't make the whole tree green. I can't make the whole tree blue. So it doesn't really give you that granularity of choice, which I don't know why they don't, but it's probably something to do with the way the lights are programmed. But this is a, this is a $698 tree. I don't know if there's a 25% off from that price or if that price is already 25% off. That's what I don't know. Okay. Now, this tree doesn't look very dense at all to me. My rule of thumb, guys, is at least 100 lights per foot of tree. And if you can't get that, then you're not going to have a dense enough look. So look at this tree next to it. Doesn't it look a lot more densely populated on the right here? And... This one doesn't tell us how many how many lights there are per foot, but I imagine it's a lot more. 
this is actually a very beautiful tree right here 373 was 498 so you can see that the ones that actually look the best the most beautiful and the most realistic ones and like this one has a few pine cones but not really enough in my opinion but they generally cost more well home depot had the two most beautiful trees that i liked of anybody this year and they were like 500 bucks but they had some of them marked down to like 250. yeah apac he is everywhere isn't he i see him a lot on um i think i see him on two boss but i've seen him on vince's channel so um yeah they're winding down on a lot of the 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 christmas decorations that were here and by the way these are great for the little kids guys if you have little kids or if you have little kids in your neighborhood coming by to look at your lights you give them these and it makes all the lights sparkle to a pattern so this one's a snowman so when you turn them, as you're looking through the lights you'll see the little snowman pattern rotating and they're really really cool the little kids love these things you know my daughters love them when when we had them there appreciate all the advice and tips about xmas trees have some great ideas and screenshots yeah and by the way guys you know back in the day we used to about about um five six years ago we used to do a massive massive christmas light display at our house and we used to get on the news every year they used to come broadcast live during the weather and we had 65,000 led lights not a single incandescent light it was all led it was all synchronized to the music and you would drive up in your car and we have a sign that says tuned to like 100.9 which was an unused radio station so we're broadcasting the songs to your car radio while it's all synchronized to music it was a great display there but if you go and pull out my videos tab after we end this um live stream here tonight and you go in and you look through my videos tab back in like 2011 and 2010 you'll see all of those videos we put up shot from cherry pickers across the street and everything showing all of our huge display and how it's it's dancing to the to the uh, music and stuff i've been demonetized from those videos because i was using like mariah carey if you go if you go search on my channel go search for um just like mariah carey or all i want for christmas is you that's probably our best song that we had and it was just incredible so here and there they got more of the inflatables up along the, the top there the problem that i always saw those four foot inflatables the smaller ones they're useless outside because they don't they don't seem to have as powerful motors they don't stay up right anyway they get blown over easily and most of them don't come with the ropes i don't think and i still we still have problems with the big ones you know so make sure you stake them down and use four all four strings and going at four different corners away from the inflatable and make sure when you install it that the all of the strings are in high tension don't let them sag because the minute it's sagging the thing starts moving and it starts yanking them right up out of the ground it's amazing what the wind will do yep when the incandescent lights yeah people who people who had my size of display with incandescent lights we're paying five thousand up between two and five thousand for electricity for December. My electric bill went up a hundred bucks at the most. So here's what we have here with the, with the larger ones. Before a few weeks ago, somebody must have bought it. They had like a a fifteen foot tall uh, soldier, the Nutcracker soldier. And yeah, so here they got Woody, and uh, so that one is one ninety nine up there. Let me try to zoom in up there a little bit. And I know the signal's probably fairly bad up in there. But what we did in 2006, when they first came out with all of the LED Christmas lights, and they only had them in Costco at first, I went and wiped out three different Costcos in Broward and Palm Beach County. Wiped out every single box they had. I probably spent about $1,500 and bought like thousands and thousands of, of LED lights. So a lot of people... And I'm to blame for this. A lot of people never even knew that there was LED lights in 2006 in Broward County because I wiped them all out. And same with Target. I, I bought... The Target's got these, uh, these snowflake rope lights that were about 18 inches tall or so, maybe less. And I had them up on my roof. Boom, boom. You'll see it on the videos on my channel going back. But I had them up on the roof there. And man... I went and wiped out every single Target in Broward County and in Palm Beach County to get those things wiped them all out all right so i think we've pretty much covered everything here i just wanted to come in and you know take a check here and 
see how everything looks. And so, yeah, it looks like for the most part, there's not too much stuff in the ad here. And they're just rehashing the same prices they've already had here. But now we're getting into Christmas season here. So if you guys didn't see my video from the other night from uh, Sam's Club, where I showed you the 4K video upload of the Christmas displays and stuff that they have at Christmas decorations for sale at Sam's Club, you got to go check that one out. And I'm getting ready to work on a much longer one for um, Hobby Lobby. That'll probably be at least a good half hour video. And we uploaded one a few weeks ago for Costco as well, too. Uh, because going in there and trying to show you all these intricate, you know, colorful displays and everything, and you can't show it in good quality because the live streams are highly compressed by YouTube. So that's why we'll go in there and we shoot those in 4K video and then we upload them. So anyway, I hope you guys liked all this that we showed you here tonight. If you did, give us a thumbs up down below. So we should have plenty of thumbs ups going on. And if you haven't subscribed to us, to our channel yet, all I can say is why, why haven't you? Because we have plenty of, of, of world-class how-to videos and repair videos and tool reviews and, and shop with me's here through the stores here. And so make sure you click on that subscribe button down below. Click on the bell icon next to it. That way you'll be alerted every time we upload a new video because otherwise you'll, you'll never know, okay? So let me just check the last couple of things here. Oh yeah, you used to build their control panels. Yeah, a 50 pound bag. Yeah, I used to use Laterama. I sold all my Laterama controllers a few weeks ago. So those were about 300 bucks a piece. And I had like nine of them that I got rid of. All right. All right, so yeah, make sure you go back and check our, our old Christmas light videos. You guys will love those, believe me. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all.